In this episode, we will look at how to crop and rotate in Capture One. Some of us shoot in a way that we leave some headroom for cropping later in post. Let's say if you're shooting for a magazine or let's say a product, you would want to leave some space so that in case they decide to use it for a flyer or any kind of artwork, there will be enough room for expansion and then writing or putting certain artworks on the picture. Now let's look at this image on our screen here. I intentionally, normally I leave enough headroom so we can crop mostly because most of the images I should end up on social media. So I want to leave enough space so I can crop for social media output. Now this particular one is no um, exception. So let's go straight to the crop tool and then see how we can work on it. If you look up here, this is a crop tool. If you click and hold, it gives you a context menu. If you leave it go, so click and hold. Now, if we look here, we have different aspect ratios and you can see it's already on 4x5. This is the standard Instagram uh, portrait crop. Aside the square, this is the second one for portrait. So let's just select this and then if you look here, we have these handles at the sides of the image, which means you can click on any of them and drag and it will crop according to the aspect ratio chosen. Or if you see the plus here, it means we can do our own selection. See, if we do landscape, it gives us the ratio. If we go portrait also, it gives us the ratio. So there are instances where you would want to draw your own or instances where you would want to just use the one that comes auto. So let's um, disable this and then try using it. So when you click on the left here, see, it snaps in the crop for you automatically. This is helpful in some situations. And then you can as well click and then drag it all the way anyhow you want, just like we had previously. It pays to know your cropping game so you can crop very well. Now let's say with this, you know, we don't want this uh, bottom part of a dress to show the black trousers. We don't want it to show. So we can just click here and then drag it here. So that already gives us um, this. So if we go ahead and press enter, this has cropped the image for us. Let's say we don't want the same crop. We want to make changes to it. So just click on the crop again. It brings it back. So working in Capture One is non-destructive. We can always go back and then make more changes. So let's say we want just a specific crop. Let's say here like this then once we press enter see it fits in that perfectly we are done cropping let's say uh, the image wasn't uh, that straight or let's say by looking at this we want to give it some perspective we want to slant it in a way so the same way we can go to the crop once it's cropped if you bring the mouse out of the selected area to the corner see anytime you get to the corner it changes to the round and once it changes to that it means what you can rotate the image both clockwise and anti-clockwise so let's just click and then see what's happening so let's leave it like this and then press enter see easily we've been able to rotate the image let's undo that and then go back to crop same thing you can do it from any angle something like this enter We've been able to do that so let's um, undo all that we've done so far we are back to this image now let's say we don't want to crop let's take a look at an image uh, let's go to and select one image which is okay say there's no need for crop okay from the top here all right let's say this image doesn't need any cropping but we need to rotate it see now if you select the crop and then come here see it doesn't give you the chance to rotate what you can do when you're in the crop tool and you know you don't have the chance to rotate it from the edges is I'll press and hold command 
and you see it has changed if you leave command it's the plus bar if you press command it changes to this so you can rotate it without even cropping so something like this then you can move it somewhere here once you press enter see it has taken effect so that's the second way now let's undo this and look at the third way of doing this by using the rotate tool itself if you click on this you see there are different types of rotation here you can just click on this to rotate to the right to the left or freehand and then this also the default is straighten with straighten you can use a line let's say if you have an image with certain parts of the image that are straight you just use the line too i hardly use that what i use most of the time is rotate freehand so it's just like the previous one just that now you can rotate it anyhow you want and you don't need to add any keystroke to it or anything like that let's um, disable this and then let's look at the other options here there is rotate right if you press it see rotate right press it again rotate right so you just tap one and it will rotate for you see by 90 degrees and then same thing if you go to rotate left you press you go each time you press it rotates 90 degrees so this is what i end up using most of the time but most of the time when i have to crop before rotating i just use the crop like we did and then press command and i'm able to rotate anyhow i want now with the crop you can choose your own aspect ratio see let's say you want to crop this but now if we use the instagram preset that i have here if you click see it goes way beyond let's say you want to maintain this image but we just want to crop a bit of the top off so with that what you do is you go to unconstrained and with that you are able to drag you know you can it's unconstrained so you can crop it with any aspect ratio you want once you're done you press enter it takes effect so let's undo that and then go back to this see you can add your own aspect ratio rename it let's make this one say um facebook and then the ratio we want it's um let's say with facebook we have um what what kind what aspect ratios do we have 12 80 or is it 1290 1290 or so by 1080 let's click ok so if we go here you see that it's added it to it facebook so if we click on this see it gives us that particular aspect ratio see let's undo this the same thing can be applied to uh, okay let's do this let's say we want this to be landscape so we come here then something like this and we press enter see it gives us this kind of square kind of thing yeah the same thing can be applied to an image like this Let's say you want to take off just this part we go to unconstrained and then just come here and we can drag around each part like this press enter and we are good to go so guys if you haven't subscribed yet there is more to come in this series so just go ahead hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you don't get to miss any of the episodes that comes up i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching